Hello Pisces, welcome to the channel. Hope you're all doing well. Thank you for all your likes, shares and subscribes. And the message for you this week is take charge and action. So this is about getting in the driving seat here. It's about doing something about something. So we're going to take three cards. I will clarify them and give you a message at the end. So Spirit, please show me clearly what this is about. The Wheel of Fortune. The Five of Wands and the Four of Cups. Now, there's a boredom and apathy around this. I just had this card out for Sagittarius. So this is you bored. It could be as well that there's competition in your workplace. It could be within your environment or within yourself. So you could be battling with yourself here as to what you want to do to go forward. What Spirit's saying here, it's time to take charge and take some action. So to relieve your boredom, or it can be to come away from antagonistic people and situations so that you can recognise it might be clouding your blessings here. You beg your pardon. It might be clouding your ability to see your blessings. So you might be bored with where you are. Uh, it could be that, you you know, there's no progress being made, but we need to change this here. We need to come away and we need to choose our battles carefully. We need to clear out this energy so that we can start to see, because fives are change, you see. You clear this out, you'll start to see the blessings in your present. So we need to move away from any antagonistic people or in environments, and we need to do it now. Because what's happening here is we're not seeing our blessings in our present because we're getting caught up in niggles and, you know, antagonistic things. This can also be your belief system, because it can be you doubting yourself. But Spirit's saying this is the time. The Wheel of Fortune's moving in your favour. It's the correct time, divine timing here. Hope is on your side. Luck's on your side. It's time to bring in change and do some, take some action about what's going on here. So what we'll do is we'll clarify the Five of Wands, Spirit, please. Can we please clarify the Five of Wands? This is restricting you, because Wands are growth. And this is what's stopping uh, movement forward. This is the stop, you know, it's stopping you from seeing your blessings or new blessings coming in. Power moment. The Four of Wands, there's a good outcome for. And the Page of Wands. Now, this is a tower moment. So it could be anything. A tower moment is anything you consider a tower moment to be. So it could have been that you've been through a tower moment or you're going through one. Now, it's like suddenly it can feel like the rug's been pulled from under your feet. I know a lot of people don't want to hear it, but the universe is stepping in and this can be a blessing in disguise. For me, this is what this is. So it can be as if everything that you felt was secure around you, that you were stuck in. See, he's stuck in the tower and needs to be released. So the energies have changed to allow this. And this can cause this kind of doubt in your mind. It can also be that you need to change this and this will cause the tower moment. It doesn't have to be bad. It's everything you've known for a long time that you've been in needs to change. So you could do this. So any decision, for example, to go down a new path that you're inspired to go down, courses, new jobs, you've got ideas here, new study courses, moving out of home, whatever it may be, there is consequences to this because there could have been something you've been in for a while here. But trust in your ability to create great stability out of this. There's going to be a relieving of boredom. There's going to be a moving on from antagonistic people and environments. Now, this, if you ask a different, you know, if you would ask somebody's opinion about something, always say with this five of wands, people can say to you, are you sure you want to do this? You'll get a hundred different answers if you ask questions. It's about you, what you're inspired to do. What ideas do you have? You know, you might need to shake things up here. I get the feeling we need to take charge, take action and shake things up here. And it could rock your foundations. But it's going to bring in a lot of stability here. This is a victory card and this is stability. Now, it could also bring in, for some of you, it could bring in marriage. So you might be going down a new path here. It might be that your relationship is needing revamped. Whatever that means for you, revamp. Take it as it resonates. We might need to say, right, you know, the way we've been going isn't working. We need to change this. So it might be moving in together. It could be starting a family. You see, nothing's going to be the same again. That's the point of a tower moment. It's a blessing in disguise. So we'll clarify the four of cups here, please, Spirit. This is the perfect time. Yeah, see, the eight of swords, mental energy here, the high priestess. And the two of pentacles. So this is the high priestess. Now this can be 
realizing something. It can be recognizing your blessings in the present and wanting to build on them, seeing things as blessings as well. So you can see the hand of the divine wanting to hand you something loving and caring here, but we can be so wrapped up in, in what we're wrapped up in that we don't see it. So we need to listen to our intuition here, and that can be why tower moments also come in. But we need to listen to our intuition, what we're seeing, feeling, and sensing around us, because this is enlightenment, because we go from black to white, and we start to realise and listen to our gut feeling. We're overthinking things as well. We're get, don't get in your own road, but overthinking this, looking at something here. You don't need to overthink it. Listen to your intuition and you know, you'll you'll become, you'll start to see the way forward here. If she takes off this blindfold, she could easily walk forward. So this boredom, this apathy, or this, you know, getting wrapped up in other people's battles and, you know, all this kind of niggly energy, you're not seeing the way forward here. So, and when we start to listen to your intuition, we're going to have to weigh things up. And we could be making a head over heels decision that could cause a turn moment in your life. There's no doubt about that. But Spirit's saying this is the perfect time to be making these changes, to take action, weigh things up, make that decision. You could be juggling a lot of things as well and it's, you're, it's becoming monotonous. So we need to take charge of things and we need to act on this. So bringing better balance in, the choose our choices, weighing things up and making decisions. It's decision time here, definitely. Okay, we'll take a Divine Direction card, please, Spirit. Strength. Strength. You have an enormous amount of strength and courage. Remain focused, stand tall and shine. Now, we always have more strength than we give ourselves credit for. Just think about how far you've come in life and you've survived that. I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.